Got a lot of leaves and twigs and stuff. The good thing about this is that you can, uh, if you just want to troll, you can just kind of leave the prop half in, half out of the water like that. You'll go real slow. If you want to go a little faster, you can put it all the way in. At some point, the motor will die because of the um, because of the oil the oil uh, thingy that's in it. So we're gonna turn around here and head back up stream or whatever. So we're testing out the difference between the six and a half inch propeller and the six and a quarter inch propeller. I can tell you right now that the six and a half pitch, six and a half uh, inch propeller has a lot more torque to it to get up on a plane a lot faster. Uh, but it tends to want to ride out of the water, and you're having to pull back and use a lot more muscle just to keep the prop in the water. I put a smaller prop on here that came with the kit and it is uh, staying down in the water a lot better although it seems that I've sacrificed some of the get up and go uh, uh, that's fine I mean you know just because you know uh, maybe not get on a plane as fast but I'm you know I'm, I'm doing just fine with it once it is up on a plane this tailpipe I love it it just it just makes it sound like a mean little thing you know and it's just a lot more horsepower with it and another thing too is now that the exhaust is redirected out toward the back when it's redirected to the side a lot of that you know if the winds blowing behind you it just blows all of it back in your face whereas this even if the winds blowing behind you not very much of it comes back because you know it's moving back uh, in the opposite direction that you're heading and so whereas when it was spitting out to the side even if I were moving at full speed, if you had a tailwind, it seems like some of that stuff would even would make its way back to your to your face. And so, uh, so this is uh, this is going pretty well here. Um, you know, I'm liking it. Uh, I think I like the the bigger torque of the bigger prop. Uh, so it may be worth exploring. Uh, you know, putting some sort of a trim tab on the skeg there, angle it up like that, so with the hydrodynamic forces would keep it down something like that so I can use a bigger prop get better get with better torque and all that on there because from everything I've read in naval architecture a, a bigger prop is a bigger slower turning prop is more efficient than a faster turning smaller prop so if I had to choose I'd rather have the bigger prop and we put whatever kind of hydrodynamic planes that we need to put there on their sked to make it work right so and this throttle is very responsive. The throttle that came with the kit, very, I really do like it a lot. I mean, the, the clutch style bicycle brake thing, I, I, you know, yeah, I guess you could use it, but I like this because I, I mean, I just, I'll just sit here and bump it sometimes. I'll just be sitting here idling, getting ready to go, and just, you know, just graze it like that, and the engine just spark, and it just jumps, and you're like, whoa, that thing really is sensitive. So, uh, you know, very sensitive. Um, a little thing there so I'm uh, still very impressed with it have my tether properly rigged here I'll show you the tether here is rigged here right off the central uh, uh, beam there the, uh, the support rib just have it tied here with a loop coming through it so I can just uh, 
you know, you get into these little quiet little spaces on the river and backwaters and stuff like that. You don't want to go in here with the, you know, motor raging loud, right? Sorry, I'm off center. You don't want to come back in here raging with the motor loud. So what you do is kill the motor way back off there in the bay. And then we get on the oars and get back in here quietly and catch the fish. Not fishing today, just sort of finally seeing if this is the final configuration on this motor that we're going to like. So we're going to head uh, back uh, to another part of this little uh, uh, piece of water here. And, um, <clears throat> and the great thing is that you can just hands-free um, uh, hands-free operation hands-free operation while cranking it up and stuff. So, that's another great thing about it. All right, let's get turned around here. A lot of rain, muddy today. Waters around here are usually gin clear, uh, gin clear but you know, not today. Maybe give you a shot of the motor completely uh, out of the water. Oh, we're getting turned around. Better kill it. <laughs> There's no reverse. <laughs> so we're just letting the wind kind of change the directions. That's why we have the oars, but I'm just being lazy. It'd be good if you could put some jugs in here for catfish. I see a couple of jugs out there already. A jug there, a couple of jugs. Good times. Don't know how much battery life I got left. Sorry for the wind, but what is that? Oh gosh, isn't that a hornet's nest? Look at that. It's like a hornet's nest, man. Yeah. I'm doing that in the summertime. We'd be like dead. <laughs> That doesn't get all fouled up.
Inches of water here. <laughs> Tell you, I'm not gonna get too far in here. I'm just gonna maybe thread through here and see what we can do here, just at idle speeds. In the summertime, this is very thick stuff. All right, it's probably not much of anything there. Just go straight through it, you know. Out here on my little kayak. Can't really see the bottom because it's so 